There has been another mass shooting in this country, this time close to the center of our government. All the markings of a horrifying attack. So we know of a second officer shot. We are reporting this morning that there are multiple wounded and multiple fatalities. On that day, normal day, um, I heard pop, pop, pop. And I thought, wow, that's a different kind of sound. And at that moment, the alarm light went off and I thought, okay, this one's real. And so I walked down the hallway and then I went out to the stairwell and headed down. And as I slid my hand around the banister and hit that mid-level floor between the fourth and the third deck, he was standing at the bottom of the steps with the gun pointed up. And I saw him and I was at peace. I didn't have a moment of fear. Um, I just, I saw this very angry man and he had a shotgun and I just looked at him and um, he looked back at me and he blinked and I watched him. He, he had to make a decision and I watched him make that decision. I could hear Jen yelling for help. Went back in the stairwell and she's walking up the stairwell and uh, we got out on the roof. He pulled off his little half black jacket, um, overcoat that the Navy wears, and he stuffed it into the front and the back of my wound because the shot went right through my shoulder. We prayed, we talked about our kids, our hobbies. I try to keep everybody focused on light things. Captain Zawizlak never left. He pressed for an hour and 20 minutes. SWAT team came up on the roof and then the park police came in and uh, we put Jen in the basket and they flew her off and then they came back and picked up the three of us. I'm in pain every day. The pain steals your attention and so concentration was hard so I knew I had to go back to work because it was going to force me to re-engage and focus and, and that's what it did. We've all gone to counseling and things happen and you can't explain them and the doctors say that's just the way it is. You know, certain things will set you off, certain things will make you chill, you know, and you just deal with it. I've been back to 197 many times. Alexis is gone. I mean, he suffered probably a horrible death. His family has had to suffer through that. But that's just a building. And it's really about what can we do going forward. I saw a man who was angry, who was broken, and my heart broke for him. There's nothing to forgive for me. I don't see it that way. I see it, in, uh, and I guess I would say in God's terms. But I can tell you that this is what faith looks like.